People need to be prepared and get prepared right now that if you're in uh, this cone area, you need to be prepared for the possibility, if not the probability, that you will be losing power for some period of time. Texas Governor Greg Abbott speaking earlier today as Hurricane Laura heads towards the Gulf Coast. And you're looking live at the Galveston Seawall. Things looking calm right now. There is a mandatory evacuation order for residents of the city of Galveston. More on the approaching storm is coming up. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on air, online, and on your smartphone. For ABC 7 at 4, I'm Mark Ross. Laura has officially become a hurricane with a projected path that takes direct aim at the Texas and Louisiana coastlines. The storm is expected to make landfall Wednesday or Thursday as at least a major Category 3 hurricane, leaving residents with just 24 hours to prepare for Laura's wrath. Whitney Wilde has the latest on the storm preparations and projections. Hurricane Laura is gaining strength as it barrels through the Gulf Coast. Officials expect Laura to swell to a Category 3 storm by the time it makes landfall, either Wednesday night or Thursday morning. The storm surge could be worse than Rita. That is uh, a sobering thought. We're now recommending a mandatory evacuation for all of Calcasieu Parish. Portions of the Texas and Louisiana coastline now fall under a hurricane warning, and officials have issued mandatory evacuations for areas including Galveston, Texas. In Houston, evacuation boats and high water resources stand ready to manage Laura's wrath. So this truck right here behind us can hold about 10 people and it can uh, go about through 30 inches of water. The National Hurricane Center expects Laura to drop between 4 and 12 inches of rain beginning Wednesday night and extending through Saturday. Widespread flash and urban flooding remain a major concern. Be very aware that you need to make sure that you are not near that because it can easily sweep you away, causing you to lose your life. Officials are warning Laura's power could prove deadly. As a tropical storm, Laura killed at least nine people in the Caribbean and may bring storm surges of 7 to 11 feet along the coast. Whitney Wild, ABC 7. And while they haven't been called in yet, El Paso's Red Cross emergency response team is getting ready in case they're needed after Hurricane Laura. Today, the disaster program manager was at the El Paso Red Cross offices getting the emergency response vehicle prepared so they can leave on a moment's notice. Look for a story about the preparations coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 10.